So Upstate Warrior Solution is a community-based nonprofit based out of Greenville. We cover five counties and we work with warriors to help them transition after they get off active duty uh, back into the community. So we've got seven of our wounded warriors from Iraq and Afghanistan that are all local um, Marines and Army uh, folks that are here playing. So they're playing with the groups and um, a portion of these proceeds are going to our organization. I love the wounded warriors. I mean, there's a lot of us who wouldn't put our life on the line and we live free every day because of it. I just, I'll do anything I can to raise money for them and their families. Well, first of all, when I was asked to do the big break edition with the wounded warriors, it was a no-brainer for me because they sacrificed so much to keep us safe and secure from all these terrorists and stuff. It's an easy decision for me. I, I mean, God bless them and God bless their families. Wounded warriors, you, you'd want to help out any way you can. So this is a great way to do it with the big break. I mean, it's a you know great opportunity to, number one, show my skills. Number two, uh, show the lack of skills. And um, number four, um, just have a good time. That felt funny. As Miss America, it's kind of my responsibility to give back to the troops. Uh, and it's one of the biggest honors I have is Miss America, so I'm very happy to be here and give back and hang out with these amazing guys, listen to their stories, so I mean, this has been an incredible opportunity for me. Uh, I was in the Marine Corps. Uh, I was a machine gunner, so 331. I was in from uh, 2008 to uh, 2013. I went in at 19. Uh, I served with uh, 2nd Battalion, the 505th Infantry Battalion with the 82nd Airborne. Uh, I was in the Marine Corps for six years. Uh, I was infantry. I did uh, deployment to Iraq and the deployment to Afghanistan um, before 2010. Then I went up to Quantico as a combat instructor for all the officers coming into the Marine Corps. Um, after that, I was retired uh, with uh, traumatic brain injury from deployments and PTSD. It's um, you know our, the guy the guy that I'm with his his back is is, is hurting him and it, it's really showing up in the and the driver and it's just like man you just realize what they've done for this country and put put their health on the line for us. And I check this for over forty three thousand dollars. Anybody who serves over there has basically written a blank check to the United States uh, that can be cashed in at any time with life and limb. Um, they put it all on the line so that you and I can enjoy our freedoms and enjoy our way of life um, and our children can enjoy that as well. So. Uh, anything I can ever do to support them, help them, uh, you can count me in.